Hey everyone. Okay, quick update on the LT4000, nicknamed the Bastard. The uh, punch list, checklist, whatever you want to call it, is getting shorter and shorter on this tractor. The deck is done, PTO is done, which you saw in the previous video. It's got a brand new battery. I hauled in all my scrap uh, last Wednesday and I made out pretty good. Got a brand new battery and I came out on top with profit. So really all that's left to do on the electrical is replace the ignition switch, add a PTO switch, and fix the headlight wiring. The ignition switch, it's kind of funny. Uh, you click it on and off perfectly fine. You can hear the, car, the solenoid and the carburetor clicking, but it's when you go to start. Most times people would go all the way to the right, and it does that. So you actually gotta go, you gotta watch it as you go. And no, it's not because of my uh, GM key. It's been doing this ever since I got this tractor, and the guy kind of said, oh yeah, the ignition's kind of funky in it. But uh, it's not a big deal. So you may think it's the valves, like when you go and it just stops like that, but as long as you get it right in the right spot, it cranks fine. And I got a few of those ignition switches kicking around. It's an easy swap. The uh, transaxle, it's still up in the air if I'm going to swap it or not. It's a Spicer 6-speed. Sure, it'd be nice to have an extra 6-speed kicking around, but it's a Spicer. So, we'll see on that. Also, the linkage that I have that would have to go in here on this, you can't just swap the transaxle, you got to swap the uh, shifting linkage as well, is for that body saw right there. And the name of the game on this tractor is not to spend any money and not to spend too much time on it. So right there I don't want to spend too much time modifying linkages to make a hydro transaxle work in this tractor if I can straight bolt it in and swap out the linkage I'll do it but we'll see on that uh, it's not a huge deal for me to lose out on the six speed and the the hydro will probably sell eventually anyways it doesn't appear to be leaking oil anymore which is good I have my uh, one pug oil catch rag underneath it and it appears to be dry. So that's another good thing. I guess the uh, grommet on the dipstick has resealed itself. I might uh, pull it out. I think I found a gasket for it the other day and uh, I think it will fit at least. I found one, I don't know if it will fit. I'll stick on there and that will stop it for sure. But if not, I can even put some, um, put some valve cover sealing on there. Let's wrap it around and that will hold it good and tight. Because like I said, name of the game. Don't spend any money on this tractor and get it in and out reasonably quick. I've had it for a little over a week now. It's being donated to a friend of ours, so it's not really a huge deal that it's sitting around. But if it was a flip tractor to resell, it would already be gone. So that's why I'm taking my time on it. We, the weather hasn't really been cooperating. We've had hot days, we've had cold days, we've had rainy days. So that's where that's where we're at right now. So I guess that's uh, pretty much it on this. If I did forget to mention anything, I'll probably leave it in the uh, description below. But I think I covered everything. Just a couple things left on the checklist to finish up on this, and uh, that's pretty much it. So I'll talk to you later. Please give a red neck like always, and uh, please drop a comment. And don't forget to use your one pug oil catch rake. Bye for now.